to From the Pastor's Kitchen, where I get to share with you two of my greatest passions, my love for Christ and cooking. Well, today I am going to cook some shrimp fried rice. I had a taste for it. I said, why well, buy it? And I have all the ingredients at home. I didn't have a lot of everything. I had more rice than anything, but we're going to make it work. So I want to show you what I have. We're going to start with a couple of eggs that we're going to fry. My wok is already hot. I love this cast iron wok. I tell you, if you can find one, it's a jewel. Okay, a couple of shrimp that are already deveined. They are pre-cooked a little bit. I like them raw, but that's what we had in the refrigerator, so you're gonna use what you have. Sometimes you don't have to go out and get other things. Use what you have in your cabinets. Can you remember a time when your mother just whipped up something out of the cabinet when, it's, um, when she had just the minimum? I do. And so I, I think back like that and I try to just make the best with what I have. I got some rice. I cooked it earlier, put it in the refrigerator. Your rice must be cold. You gotta make some shrimp fried rice. Okay, I got some bean sprouts, some mushrooms. They've been sitting out, so they're a little brown, but they're okay. And some veggies, just a few little vegetables to put in there. It's a real simple dish. It's not a whole lot that you have to do to it, so remember that too, okay? First of all, I'm gonna start with some eggs here. I'm gonna fry the eggs in here. Should be hot already. Cause I got my wok, it's hot. You've got a wok. You don't have to do a lot of cleaning to your wok or anything. Don't try to do all that. Wipe the wok down is all you have to do. We're going to fry the egg in here because it's a part of the dish as well. Okay. Make sure the egg is thoroughly fried in here. You don't have to do anything else because I got plenty of oil around here. Okay. Fry my egg first. A lot of my veggies and stuff is already cooked, so I'm going to come here now. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here. So I keep some oil readily available. Keep some oil available. Just vegetable oil in there. I'm gonna take a few of my mushrooms here. My veggies were steamed earlier, so I'm not gonna do a lot to them. Do my mushrooms and hit my mushrooms so I'm cooked down some. Just a little bit. And if other stuff is coming in here with it, it's okay. Because it's my dish, and everybody in the house is gonna eat it. It's gonna be okay. I just want them to cook down just a little bit. Okay. These are Bella, baby Bella mushrooms. Got them from the market. Went to the market too and got uh, the bean sprouts. I don't like to use a lot of canned food. It's just, I just don't like it. Processed stuff and I don't like it. So I'm, I'm putting my eggs to the side to cook these down just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to season them up too as well. Put a little bit more oil on them. And once I've cooked these two, on the, I'm going to put them to the side of my wok. They'll cook on the side of my wok. Move back some cow for me and let me get my pepper a little bit on here. Just going to season these up a little bit as I'm going along. Then I'm going to season the overall meal. So I've now got some flavor on here. I'm not going to even use my go-to at all. My adobo. I'm not going to use it. Adobe, I'm not going to use it. Because of salt. Why? Because I'm going to use the soy salt. And the soy will give me the oil that I need. My fire's turned up high. Just enough to hit this. Okay. I had a few broccoli pieces there. I'm going to take this and push it to the side. Put a little bit more oil in here. Alright. Let's hit these shrimp right quick. Everything in one pan. I can cook all this in one pan. They're already cooked, so I don't have to do a lot to them. It's not gonna take long to cook these. Because they're already pre-cooked. When, when they're pink already, you don't need to do a lot to them. I'm gonna mix this in with this. That's good. It's not gonna take much now. Take this egg and mix it in with it now too. Because my shrimp, don't overcook your shrimp. Don't overthink this and cooking the shrimp too long. It's not necessary. Okay? Because then it'll just be rubbery. It just won't be good at all. No, no. I'm going to season this just a little bit. This is my magic shell. You don't know. Salt-free seasoning. Wonderful flavor to it. It's just enough. Adds enough to the food. Flavor. Black pepper. Once again, I'm not going to use the adobo because it has a little bit of salt content in it, and I don't want that in my food at all. 
This is pretty much cooked now. I'm gonna come in and add in my rice now. Just a little bit of it. It's cold, it's not gonna take a lot. I may have more rice than what I need for this dish, so I'm gonna use probably half of this. Just blend it in. See that already? I'm gonna put my veggies in last and my bean sprouts in last. They're just like steam in it so they don't want to overcook. You can see already how it's coming through, Cal? Mm hmm. That's good. Try to get this to turn. So I'm not using the right one to use this one. Much better. Yes. Much better. Okay. Turn my heat up some on my wok. It's a lot of rice. I try to cook bigger meals when everybody's home so that we don't have to cook again and again. So unnecessary. Okay. Put a little bit more oil around the edges so it can cook. Like in here, because I want to fry the rice. Okay. And I chose to go ahead and use some white rice because that's what we had in the box. Sometimes I use brown rice. Probably you all know that I don't eat a lot of carbs at all. Put a little bit more of this rice in here. Let this cook down so. so keep stirring. The, the, the secret to this is you got to keep stirring this and working with it now. That from the bottom, you have to bring up to the top. See the difference there? I didn't let my, my shrimp stay long on the bottom when I was cooking it because it's constantly cooking with this rice. All right, now I'm going to come in and add my veggies. Real quick, this isn't a lot, just to get a hint of veggies in here. I got some more broccoli that I'm going to put in last as well. See how it's coming together? See how it's coming together? Mm -hmm. Looks good. Okay, now let me add my soy sauce to it. This is your high salt content for you, so you don't need to add anything else to it. Definitely no salt. Let this do the work for you. You can hear it how it's hitting the bottom of this wok here, doing everything that needs to be done. And that's enough right there. Wow. Just keep turning it. Keep turning it. Let's go ahead and put these bean sprouts in. And I have more veggies right there and the bean sprouts. Now watch this. This may be too many bean sprouts. I'm going to take some of them out. You see that, Cal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too many. I love the crunchy flavor of them. Just turn it around in here. So fry rice, everybody. That's simple. You know what really makes it to and puts the flavor in here is this wok. And sometimes you have a lot of ingredients in your pantry. Don't go searching for other things. Make it work what you have. Sometimes you can do just that. Constantly picking it up and turning it. Gonna let it keep cooking down some. Getting that from the bottom up. That's important that we do that. Pick that up. Look at that. That's the shrimp fried rice, everybody. I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit. I'm gonna taste it, then I'll know what to do. Taste it just a little bit. Mm hmm A little bit more soy sauce. Very good. <clears throat> Didn't have enough soy sauce in it. Got to cook this for the soy sauce. Doesn't need any more seasoning in it at all. 
He just needs to cook this. Look. Get from the bottom up. Take the bottom. Put it on the top. And turn it. That is it. I don't think we need to add any more to it. That is enough. Now I had cooked some broccoli earlier and steamed it. I'm not going to add it to this dish. I'm just going to put it on the side of the dish. And you'll see it when I plate it. How it will be on the side of it. Hot and on the side of it. And you can just pick it up and add it to your dish yourself. Now this still needs to cook a little bit more so these sprouts can cook in here too. I think we got enough sprouts. Because it's Thanksgiving time, I want to give you a word on thanks. And I'm going to uh, go to Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Psalm 107, give thanks. And because it is around the holiday season, we have a lot to be thankful for with the pandemic going on. And those that did survive, those that may have expired and gone on, we thank God for their lives. The memory of their lives live on. We don't negate that at all. We give God glory for that. And we still give God thanks for what is going to transpire in our lives. I pray that you have many hopes and dreams and aspirations. And I pray that 2021 would be a greater year than 2020 as we continue to give the Lord thanks. Psalm 107 verse 1. I want to go back to my dish now. Right, we're going to take this out and plate it, then I'll show you the final as it is plated. One last. Hey P-Fam, I am back with the finished product as I promised. This is the shrimp fried rice. Now I had some uh, broccoli that I steamed earlier. I didn't want to put it in the dish because then it just may be too mushy in there. So I put it on the side of it and we'll eat it with the shrimp fried rice. All the ingredients I provided for you and I'll also have them written out on there so you'll know exactly what to add to your dish. And I topped it off with some green onions, diced green onions, some fresh diced green onions. I pray that you enjoy this meal as we are going to enjoy it tonight and make sure you use this recipe. If you like it, please let me know that, share it with others, and most of all, would you please subscribe. Tell your friends about us from the, from the Pastor's Kitchen where we cook and provide a word from the Lord. Lastly, I want you to have a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving. Remember to do that. Love on your family. If you don't have a time, have an opportunity to actually see them, be with them, touch them, do it by video. Make it possible. Until next week.